The powerhouse duo of Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston take on the world of broadcast journalism on their new series, The Morning Show. The Morning Show peels back the curtain and gives us a glimpse inside the mind games, dirty power moves, politics, and secrets behind the people giving us the news. As a broadcast journalism major and an avid TV watcher, I was curious about The Morning Show since day one. Plus, who doesn't love Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon? Well, I started watching the show and I gotta say, I was hooked from episode one all the way through episode 10. It was a fun drama with real world stories mixed in. Here is a quick breakdown of the cast. Reese Witherspoon plays Bradley Jackson, an outspoken girl whom after years of working as a field reporter goes viral for yelling at a man and ends up becoming the co-host of The Morning Show with Alex. Bradley easily became my favorite character on the show because she was the one that was always seeking the truth regardless of the consequences. And her behavior on The Morning Show is what stirred up a lot of the drama. Then we have Alex Levy, who is played by Jennifer Aniston. She is the Queen Bee host of The Morning Show. Her former co-host Mitch, played by Steve Carell, is fired after 15 years of sexual misconduct, leaving Alex distraught and in a very difficult position. Alex has to rise to the occasion, take bold risks just to make sure she has enough power to keep her job. Alex is different from Bradley because they have different priorities. Even though you side with Bradley more throughout the show, you understand why Alex does what she does. This show to me is different from anything I have been currently watching. It didn't involve heavy scenes that included drugs, violence, or murder. Shows like Euphoria or You, which is what I have been watching as of late, but I felt that the morning show still managed to tell a very, very dramatic story. What you have is this highly successful show host Alex Levy who has devoted her whole life to the morning show but after she loses her co-host her job is in jeopardy and with her character we see her go head to head with the corporate men who run and make all the decisions. Jennifer Aniston is wonderful in this role because she can be the intimidating career woman but also the confused and stressed out woman just trying to get by. And she butts heads with Bradley all the time and here's the thing about Bradley and Alex is that you want to see them fight because when they fight, they fight real good. But at the same time, you also want to see them be best friends because you like Bradley and you like Alex. At least that's how I feel. Reese is phenomenal as Bradley. I feel her character is so different from anything I have ever seen her do before. She really transforms into the savvy, clever journalist that is sort of stuck in between these powerful people. But she manages to stir the place up. It's so easy to fall in love with Bradley in this show and get behind her. All in all, both Reese and Jennifer are earning well worth that $2 million salary per episode. Yes, you heard that right. Both women are earning $2 million per Per episode. That's 10 episodes the first season. You do the math. And Apple has already ordered 10 more episodes for the second season. But that's not all. Both women still earn more on top of that because they are also executive producers on the project. And just for fun, for those of you guys who are fans of Friends, here are some fun facts. This is the first time Jennifer Aniston is working on a mainstream television show since she was on Friends. And if you're wondering where you have seen Jen and Reese together, it was on Friends. Reese played Rachel's younger sister, who ends up going on a date with Ross. I cannot wait to watch season two of The Morning Show. This show is so different from anything that I'm currently watching, so it has me obsessed. It's entertaining, it's fun, it's dramatic, it's suspenseful. It keeps you going from episode to episode, and I like that. I especially like that the characters have the elements of being both good and bad, because you know, not everyone's perfectly bad, and not everyone's perfectly good. So I like that they included that into these characters, so it has me invested and I cannot wait to see what happens season two. So now, if you guys haven't seen the show, I highly suggest you guys give it a try, check it out, you might really enjoy it. And for those of you guys who already have, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments section below. What were you a fan of? What weren't you a fan of? Drop it in the comment section. Also, for more videos like this, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys liked this video, go ahead and give it a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys all later. Bye.